This video will be an introduction to quadratic projectile word problems. Let's start off with just a quick example of what a problem might look like. The equation for the height, which is represented by h of t, of a toy rocket t seconds after launch is h of t equals negative 3 times t minus 5 squared plus 75. So, how do we approach this problem? The first thing you should do is try to make a little sketch of the situation. So, let's label our axes. There's h of t for the, our height and t for the seconds after launch. And then we'll go ahead and sketch a parabola. We know it's an upside down parabola because the a value is a negative 3. And it makes sense that the rocket's going up into the air and coming back down. Let's just add a few guidelines here. A useful piece of information here would be the vertex. We're in luck because this equation is already in vertex form. So we just have to do opposite, don't change it, to get our vertex of 575. Let's go ahead and mark that on our diagram. From our vertex, we can also mark some spots on the h of t and t axes. We know that our time would be 5, and our height at the vertex is 75. Now you might notice that both sides of the parabola from the vertex are symmetrical. So the number where the rocket lands would be a 10. Now that we got our diagram all labeled, let's take a look at the common questions that get asked in these quadratic projectile word problems. One of the most common ones is, what is the maximum height? Another common question is, when does the maximum height occur? When does the rocket hit the ground? What is the height at a specific moment in the flight? In this case, what is the height seven seconds into the flight? Most of these answers you can see labeled on the diagram. So what is our maximum height? Our maximum height is 75. I guess I realize now that I didn't give you uh, units on this. Let's assume that it's feet. All right, when does the maximum height occur? That's the uh, t value at the vertex. So the maximum height occurs at 5 seconds. When does the rocket hit the ground? In this case, the rocket hits the ground at 10 seconds. This happens when we have our symmetrical parabola with a launch point at 0, 0. Finally, what's the height? seven seconds into flight. I'm going to go ahead and erase our vertex here at the bottom so I got more space. So this question is basically asking, what is h of 7? So if we evaluate 7 here, uh, we do parentheses first. So 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we've got negative 3 times 4 plus 75. So that would be 12 negatives, 75 positives. The positives are winning by 63. So our height at 7 seconds would be 63 feet. All right, your turn to try one. On this one, the situation has changed a little bit. Instead of height and time, we have height and the horizontal distance from where the kickball starts from. So you're going to want to draw a diagram, label your vertex, and then start answering the questions. Remember, when you're dealing with an A value of 1 fourth, multiplying by 1 fourth is the same as dividing by 4. Go ahead and pause the video and give it a try. So the first thing that you should do is figure out your vertex. So we're going to do opposite, don't change it. We have a vertex at 6, 9. So we'll draw our upside down parabola. We know our vertex is in the middle. Label our vertex, label our axes. So six is halfway on the D axis. So when we double that, we get 12 on the end. Now we're ready to go through and answer our question. So what is our maximum height? Our maximum height is nine feet occurring at the vertex. How far out does the maximum height 
occur. Again, this is our vertex. That's our value of 6. How far does the ball travel in the air? If we double the 6, we would end up with our 12 feet. What is the height at a horizontal distance of 4? This would mean that we're evaluating h of 4. So let's get that set up. So there's our setup. And we can go 4 minus 6 is 2. 2 squared is 4. And then when we take 1 fourth of 4, that's simply 1. And that's a negative times a positive. So we get, end up with negative 1 plus 9. And the positives are winning by 8. So the height at a horizontal distance of 4 feet would be 8 feet. And that concludes our intro video to quadratic projectile word problems.